Hey there, cyber enthusiasts. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, we dive deep into everything related to cybersecurity, helping you navigate through your cyber journey. Today, we're tackling a crucial topic, how to determine if you're ready to apply to cybersecurity jobs. So if you're excited, smash that like button and let's dive right in. Cybersecurity is a dynamic field with various roles like security analyst, penetration tester, and more. Knowing when you're ready to dive into the job market can sometimes be a bit daunting. Let's break it down into some key pointers. As we go through this list, I want you to first ask yourself if you have it, and then second, if you do have it, is it enough or could it be better? All right, let's dive into the list. First and foremost, having a solid technical foundation is crucial. Are you comfortable with computer networks and systems and maybe a little bit of programming? If you can understand and troubleshoot technical issues and navigate through various operating systems like Windows, Linux, and Mac OS, you're on the right track. One of the issues that beginners in this industry have is that they don't spend enough time sharpening their foundational skills. I literally can't count the number of times that somebody says they're comfortable with Windows, but they don't know how to configure security policies. That's a huge deal. That isn't just limited to Windows, but since most people use Windows on a regular basis, it's an easy target for this video. I remember back to when I began my cybersecurity career journey, and one of the first things that I did was dive into learning about networking and Cisco. Now the discussion about learning Cisco today is a hot topic that I'm gonna leave for another video, but I always recommend learning about networking first because it's at the core of everything that we secure in today's connected world. A good example is if your computer can't visit YouTube to watch more videos from me, John Good. That's probably a networking issue because I'm everywhere. Operating systems is the second component of building a solid technical foundation. You should be able to configure standard security settings on the major operating systems, which means Windows, both client and server, and Linux. Mac OS is nice to have, but nobody's gonna freak out if you don't understand some weird things with Mac OS if you know Linux. If you don't know what I'm talking about, look up security hardening guides and the CIS benchmarks. That's a great place to start your journey. Cybertrainingpro.com is a great place to begin learning this stuff, but there's also other places that you can use too. With this knowledge, I would apply to both IT and cybersecurity jobs. However, realistically, you'll be ready for an IT job at this point, but probably not a cybersecurity job. If you find the right opportunity though, it doesn't matter, go for it. Number two is grasping cybersecurity basics. Once you build up a solid foundation of knowledge, you must ensure that you understand the fundamental concepts like cryptography, firewalls, VPNs, and various cybersecurity attacks and defenses. If you're already deep into cybersecurity before this point, you've jumped too far ahead and probably have some large gaps in your knowledge. Go back to step one and come back when you're actually ready. The reason for this is because unless you actually understand the technologies that are used and how they work, you have no idea what normal activity or behavior is like, so how could you identify what's abnormal? You can't. Now keep in mind the amount of technical knowledge or how deep you go into these subjects is gonna be related to the types of jobs that you want, but you at least need a 10,000 foot understanding of how this stuff works. For people who wanna work in cybersecurity, this is where things start to get fun because your learning is more targeted at cybersecurity things. Learn to configure some of this stuff, even if it's just doing it in a lab. Play around with the technologies and just try it. The more that you experiment, the better off that you're gonna be. There's plenty of online platforms that can help you dive into the cybersecurity aspects. They include places like Cyberary, Udemy, and Cyber Training Pro, where there are courses to help build your foundation in cybersecurity. Now you'll be more versed in cybersecurity, so again, keep applying to both IT and cybersecurity jobs, but understand that you're still early on in your journey. Moving on to number three, get hands-on experience. I kind of already mentioned this in number two, but theoretical knowledge is great. However, applying it practically is vital. This goes back to experimenting and trying things out you aren't gonna learn nearly as much without breaking things and fixing them. If you implement a firewall, but the access control list aren't blocking traffic, what's wrong? If your security policies on Windows systems aren't being deployed, why not? These are examples of different things that you can try. The more real world scenarios that you can use or imagine, the better that your skills are gonna become. This will also help you learn how to solve problems. Guess what? Things don't always work out as you plan them in the real world. You can also highlight this experience on your resume or in a job interview. More hands-on experience also helps highlight your overall interest in the career field. Use platforms like Hack the Box or Try Hack Me to get your hands dirty with real world cybersecurity scenarios. Now you're starting to build up some serious bullet points for your resume and hopefully some projects that you can display to employers. Keep applying because you're starting to get a good level of proficiency in both IT and cybersecurity. If you're enjoying the content so far, make sure to leave a like. That way YouTube knows this content's helpful for other people. Let's also take a second to talk about Cyber Training Pro. Are you tired of overpaying for cybersecurity training? Are you interested in training from industry professionals? Are you looking for cybersecurity career services? If you answered yes to any of those questions, then cybertrainingpro.com is the perfect platform for you. 
At Cyber Training Pro, we're a one-stop shop for all your cybersecurity needs. We can train you for industry certifications or just improve your overall knowledge and skills in a certain area. Unlike other platforms, we don't stop there. We can also coach you throughout your career, practice your interview skills, or create a high-performing resume with our career services. CyberTrainingPro.com isn't just another training platform. Students get exclusive access to our private community where we go beyond training courses to provide additional content, tips and tricks, and engagement with both other students and staff. Look, by the year 2025, there could be as many as 3.5 million job openings in cybersecurity. With so much opportunity, why not maximize your career potential with a platform that cares about your success? Come join us at CyberTrainingPro.com and start building your future today. All right, let's get back to the content. Fourth is all about certifications. Certifications is another hot topic in the cybersecurity career field for a lot of reasons, but ultimately they can help you learn more and potentially stand out from other applicants. One major benefit of certifications is that you'll learn topics that industry professionals have helped to select, which means that you're likely to see this stuff in the real world. As things change in the technology world, you don't wanna be learning obsolete information when you can learn things that you're actually gonna use. As a beginner, you can't determine obsolete technologies from current technologies in many cases because you don't know enough yet. Some certifications have practical exams where you have to perform various tasks that are scored, and in many cases, they're proctored by somebody. This is an important point to make for all you Google cybersecurity certificate fans, from an employment standpoint, labs or exercises that aren't actually graded and scored don't hold much weight. Even unproctored labs and exercises can be questionable, but that's a discussion for another time. Some of the heavy hitter cybersecurity certifications include CompTIA Security Plus, the OSCP, and the CISSP. These can help showcase your skills and dedication to potential employers. Make sure that you choose one or several certifications that align with your career path and skill level. Don't run out and attempt the most difficult certification ever when you don't have any experience because even if you pass the exam somehow, you won't have the experience to actually back it up. With certifications, you're going to have credentials that you can list in addition to the other stuff, which makes you stand out more when you apply to both IT and cybersecurity jobs. Fifth is making sure that you don't forget about your soft skills. Good communication, teamwork, and problem solving abilities are vital in cybersecurity roles. Make sure that you're cultivating or growing these skills alongside your technical know-how. I can't believe how many people think that getting into cybersecurity will allow them to avoid people. Just because cybersecurity is a technology-focused profession, that doesn't remove the people aspect of your job. If you're going to send emails, write reports, policies, procedures, contracts, the possibilities are endless. Additionally, you're gonna to present to people and likely represent your team in meetings. If you can't communicate, you're gonna struggle, I'm telling you right now. How can you improve your soft skills? Well, you can join meetup groups for cybersecurity, go to Toastmasters, present at conferences, write a blog, start doing something. We also offer career services at Cyber Training Pro to create a high-performing resume that gets job interviews and to help prepare you for those interviews so that you get the job. Soft skills are more important for the interview process and in the job, so don't let them hold you back from applying. Next up at number six is to build a network. Engage with the cybersecurity community, attend conferences, webinars, or join things like forums and groups. Not only will this help you stay updated with the industry trends, but also open more doors for potential job opportunities. You're kidding yourself if you think that knowing people is overrated. Relationships matter in this career field for a lot of reasons, but at the most basic level, why would a team hire somebody that they don't wanna work with for 40 hours per week? It just doesn't make sense. If you can build relationships and trust with people, that does nothing but help you. Sometimes relationships won't be super extensive, while others are gonna be long lasting, but the point is that relationships are beneficial. Occasionally, I'll hear people say that person XYZ got hired because they know so-and-so. Well, guess what? Wouldn't you rather be that person than not getting hired at all? I'm telling you this because this step is extremely important. With a solid network, you might not even have to apply to jobs, but it'll certainly help, especially if you've done everything else in this video. Question of the day, what are you doing to get into cybersecurity? If you're already working in cybersecurity, what are you doing to advance your career? I'd love to hear about it in the comments below. Remember, everyone's journey into cybersecurity is unique. Some might land a role with minimal experience, while others might take a longer route. The important thing is to keep learning, stay curious, and be persistent. I want you to do a self-check and consider these pointers and understand where you stand. And hey, even if you feel like you're not 100% ready, sometimes taking that leap to apply for jobs can provide valuable experience and feedback. Just make sure that you showcase your skills, projects, and willingness to learn in your applications. That's it for today, Cyber Warriors. If you found this video helpful, hit that like button and share it with your friends who are navigating through their cybersecurity journey. Until next time, stay safe and keep getting better every day.